I happen to be a lover of archery. But I don't like archery for killing things. I like it as a sport. But what I like most of all is to set an arrow free like it were a bird. You know, when he gets far up in the sky, whee! You watch it. And it suddenly turns and drops. What is it that fascinates us about that? Because it's not useful. It doesn't really achieve anything that we would call purposive work. It simply is what we call play. But in our culture, we make an extremely rigid division between work and play. You're supposed to work in order to earn enough money to give you sufficient leisure time for something entirely different called having fun or play. We welcome you to the family. What's going on? I hope you like the Alan Watts snippet at the beginning of this video. So today, I wish to talk about work as play. So as Alan Watts said in a video, there's a extremely rigid division between work and play. So usually when people come back from their job after working long hours and then they come back, they try to have a life, but they can't have a life after spending all those long hours having, doing all this work. But when you can combine, when you're able to combine your work with what feels like life to you, then you'll be able to excel greatly. Now, your work in life slash work as play is a combination of what we would call in modern time a lifestyle and with the lifestyle your work has play it's when your work starts to become meditative you start to feel happy doing it you you have a reason to want to wake up in the morning you're not so exhausted like oh i gotta get to this job you're actually in, enthusiastic about the whatever you're going to work on or play on now the work as play can be seen as a form of therapeutic healing to yourself like how some people love to play video games some people love archery or some people love to play music it can be really therapeutic because you're really in the moment of of that play it's there's no strictness within it and you're free to experiment and through experimentation comes greater creativity and I feel you can use the work as play model anywhere for example drawing uh, computer programming uh, just anything music as I said before anything can be the work as play and in addition the work as play model is much more easier to access what we call the flow state in psychology which I feel is the the secret to genius uh, but I did a video on that you can watch the how to be a genius video flow state now me personally I feel that there's a spectrum between playfulness and seriousness we tend to see work as strictly serious a strictly serious uh, task to engulf ourselves into however i feel that since there is a spectrum between work i mean between serious and playfulness that there needs to be a balance right in the middle because if you're too playful about it you're not going to take it seriously and if you're too serious about it it's this is going to be very stressful and it's going to kill off the creativity which is why the work as play is very essential and it really depends on who you're talking to some people may have too much seriousness and other people may have too much playfulness while I feel there is a balance a sweet spot right in the middle between that spectrum that once we access we can excel to great heights 
So guys, happy playing. Thanks for watching. Please consider to uh, click that uh, subscribe button. It's a red button below the video. It's it's pretty red. You won't miss it. It's 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 not green. It's red. But uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be the video. Peace out.